What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. So glad this is back. Had a nice little break last week, so it's been two weeks since our last episode of Solo Leveling. Getting into episode eight. Man, this show has been on such a strong start. Everybody's been loving it. Anybody that's anime only has been loving it. Anybody that's a reader of the manhwa has been thoroughly surpassed their expectations or at least meeting their expectations. They're loving it. So I'm just happy that everybody is enjoying this and I have been thus far as well. I mean, episode six was absolutely amazing. Uh, right before uh, that was a that was three weeks ago I think at this point and uh, that was so much fun just in terms for me because I had one of the clips from that episode from my reaction go viral on TikTok not viral but like semi viral it's definitely topped everything else on that TikTok uh, it's currently at like over 230k views I think something like that almost 10,000 likes that's the most you know well performed video or clip on my TikTok by far. That was really cool to see. Thank you so much for the love. If you guys watch this and you also follow me on my socials or TikTok, thank you guys so much. That was so cool to see and uh, felt really good. Can't lie. So last episode, from what I remember, we saw Sung Jin Woo figure out that his daily quest, that you can actually go over the limits that it says. So I think it's like 100 sit-ups, 100 push-ups, 100 squats, and then 10 kilometers of running. You can double that. The, act, the true max is doubling those. So you can do 20 kilometers, 200 push-ups, 200 sit-ups, 200 squats. Once he did that, the daily quest turned into a secret quest. I don't know if this is going to be like this every daily quest. I don't know if he can do that every day. Maybe he can. If that is the case, then he's going to get a different type of loot box depending on what he chooses every time as you can see you can choose from a blessed or a cursed loot box he chose the blessed obviously i mean i don't know if you want to really choose a cursed loot box on your first go <laughs> i'm sure he'll check it out eventually if this is really a thing where he can continue to over cap his uh daily quests but regardless he opened this blessed loot box it gave him a key to a certain instance dungeon which was ranked s apparently and it definitely gave him a run for his fucking money. But what really pushed him to go in there right away and check this out was that there is a potential reward going into this dungeon and completing it or finding the materials that you need once you found out later in the, uh, in the episode, once he actually went in. He can uh, potentially find the elixir of life, which apparently cures any disease, no questions asked. And I'm hoping, because I think you know, some of this stuff within his game pertains to only him. So I'm thinking maybe because obviously I'm because I'm thinking back to what we've seen so far, especially episode six, because we had. What's his name? Yojin Ho, I think the guy with all the armor, he was a D rank hunter that, uh, you know, thankfully chose Sung Jin Woo's side and was and then eventually, you know, I think also last episode in episode seven in the beginning, he was trying to recruit him into starting a guild because he wants to, like, prove to his father that he can you know, be the one that, you know, could be a guild master or whatever. And uh, he was willing to pay him like 30 billion. He was going to give him a building, a building that was worth 30 billion won, which is a lot of money, you know, a good amount. But I, I think he saw it as not really worth it for the amount of work that he was going to put in because he needed to do like 19 dungeons with him or something. So he's like, yeah, this is kind of a waste of my time. Like I could just continue leveling up on my own and potentially reach even higher heights than I would have ever imagined. So he's like, no, nah, I'm going to decline that. But Yojin Ho, during that battle against the spider, I'm pretty sure he was able to see Sung Jin Woo's dagger, obviously. So if he's able to see things that only pertains to Sung Jin Woo, then I'm assuming that these items that he gains can still be affecting other people. So I think it's going to work how he thinks it, it will in his head. Like once he gets his elixir of life, he can actually save his mom. And if that's the case, then that's fucking awesome. I don't know how soon that's going to happen or if you know everything's going to go according to plan like he thinks it will. Or, or hopes it will but regardless that gives him hope to actually be able to save his mom that's what pushed him to go into there in the first place and that was pretty much the whole second half of last episode was he went against this crazy fucking monster or boss called Cerberus rightfully so three-headed dog Cerberus and was definitely pushed to his limits I mean he was getting fucked up like you know barely survived you know what I'm saying like multiple times like had to think on his feet like full recovery you know had like almost 
like half his health taken down in one attack and then towards the end of it was li really really low like almost at like fucking zero you know like just a couple hundred health uh and you know was thinking of everything used went into the store bought a couple health pots i mean he was really pushed to his limits but he continued to persevere and when he was thinking at first like maybe i have to get out of here because he had a teleportation stone right he was like okay hold on and then he drank that venom poison or whatever that he got from kasaka and that his body naturally i think uh what is it called i can't remember the actual term that they used but it basically blocks any like harmful substances that he intakes in his body so he can't get drunk anymore for example alcohol he can't get drunk it doesn't affect him it automatically gets rid of the toxins in his body so it did that with kasaka gave him some sort of buff and then he just went the fuck in and tried as hard as he could and barely you know fucking took out cerberus but he fucking did that shit and that shit was bad ass so he, he he took it out got some more info on what's going on in the castle where he can find the material the, there's materials apparently that he can find in the castle that will allow him to create the elixir of life but he pretty much realized like yo i just struggled a good amount with that fucking thing i'm gonna come back for this because if i go in there right now i'm gonna fucking die so very smart went the fuck in took out cerberus that's pretty much where we're at and that's the last thing we saw two weeks ago well, i'm very excited to get into this new episode it's been a minute i've been loving solo leveling let's get into the reaction if you guys enjoy it please like down below comment subscribe for new and hit the notification bell so you know the next one's dropping let's get into it solo leveling episode eight this is frustrating interesting <laughs> Yep, you're still thinking about it. Yeah, he still realizes that. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna do more regular dungeons? Or are you gonna do more instance dungeons? Yep, that's the immediate goal. As usual, the recurring theme. I need to get stronger, baby. Let's go. Let's get it, baby. We'll begin into this episode. How are we gonna get stronger? あ。<笑><笑> True。そう。So yeah, I mean this is a lot of dungeons that he's about to do. So even though if he doesn't feel like the money's worth it, the fact that he's getting 19 dungeons done, that's going to allow him to level up a good amount to be able to tackle that dungeon. The instance dungeon, the castle where he needs to get the elixir of life materials later. I like the idea. And at the end of the day, you're going to get some money out of it. I, I'm assuming the building is still the offer, right? So he's still going to get 30 billion won, basically. And that's going to take care of his, you know, sister's expenses and whatnot for a while. And rent and all that basic stuff. You know what I'm saying? It can just be on the back burner. You don't have to worry about it. This is that S-Rank Hunter, right? Yeah. What's her name again? Oh, okay. Yeah, rightfully so. Files for price increase. Ah, so the guilds are the ones that are getting most of the rewards, basically. Largest five guilds in the country, okay. Functional monopoly. So this is why he's trying to get in on that monopoly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, damn right. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, we just saw the S-Rank Hunter training and then get approached with somebody with a business card. Maybe he's trying to seek, recruit her to be his brother's partner. So Sung Jun Woo might be running into this S-Rank Hunter sooner than we think. <laughs> a bingo card? So, I, I, it seems that my question was answered. He can't continue to do that. He can't get that secret quest every day. Yeah, but he's trying to think of any way to be able to level up. Yeah, exactly. He's going to take it on no matter what. Regardless of it being risky or him not being able to fight on his own. Okay, there's the episode title. That's why he's frustrated. He's like, damn, I want to. I need to level up quickly. I need to get stronger quickly. He's kind of being held back because of circumstances. <laughs> oh, okay. He's still doing training and helping out youngsters, even though he lost an arm. Oh。What a good fucking guy, man. So I think he just got a notification for a for a dungeon, a low rank dungeon, right? I think I think he's going to meet up with Sung Jin Woo again. Oh, him too. So people are going to run into Sung Jin Woo again. I wonder what they're going to think. <laughs> I mean, that was a one-time thing, but who's to know? Yeah, it was just an exception. Why am I getting a bad feeling that they're also going to run into something crazy this time, though? I mean... Yeah, to a certain extent, but in the dungeon that you were facing it with that exception, right? Like, you were... I don't know, man. He was one of the ones that was pissing me off. Because he was trying to help his buddy out, like, yo, we're voting on this. Like, let's go. Like, can't you make an exception? And then once they got in there, he was blaming everybody else for them having a vote. And was talking all shit to the, the guy that lost his arm about taking responsibility. Okay, what is he informing him on? Oh! <laughs> Yo, just tell me what the fuck you called me over here for. Damn, no support. Yeah, that's that sucks. You're a B rank, but you're useless. You should just come home instead of trying to just genuinely support. I mean, even if you don't approve of it, you know what I'm saying? Like. Can't be saying shit like that. Okay, so she still wants to try, even though she's struggling, you know. I mean, that shit that she went through was really traumatic. So I feel like we're seeing all these old characters that were in that first dungeon with Sung Jin Woo, and Sung Jin Woo is apparently, you know, they're all getting this notification. Yeah, the same request for this D rank gate. So they're all they're all about to meet up for this shit. シャヘイン。トレーニング中に友人建設のスカウトの方が来まして、その後報告に。ああ、やっ。すい、あ、ニュエ。何でも新しいギルドを立ち上げるから、ギルドマスターとしてぜひ。Join them as guild master. Okay, makes sense. So I was right on that, yeah, you, uh, Yo, Yo Jin Ho's father was, uh, trying to recruit Che. 
第三次レイド以降あの島は立ち入ることができなくなり今は定期的な沿岸からの偵察のみ大衆には年に1回の異例の様子を見ている That's that island that we saw in the very, very beginning of the show. Ah, okay, so that island is like an intense, intense place that even they struggled to completely close off. What did, what did he leave behind? Oh, shit. Wow, two S rank hunters didn't even make it back? That's wild. I think one of them was the healer that uh, they mentioned at one point that didn't wasn't assigned to a guild. Huh? What was that? Who has to die? <laughs> That's exactly the way he sees it, though. It's a D rank dungeon. Are we finally are we gonna see them before this episode ends like meet up again and be like wow look at Sung Jun Woo completely different Up, oh, he's running into him already <laughs> Look like a man bro yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. <laughs> yep, you guys are going to the same place, and look who's going to be there. Come on, where's Joe He? Where's that other guy? Yep. Yeah, you two motherfuckers that ran last time. Yeah, y'all did what y'all did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's definitely ashamed of himself. Yeah, she never showed herself, that's right, because she was like still she was kinda down from him jumping back up so quickly. And whereas she was struggling to do anything. Who the fuck is this? Oh shit. <laughs> Motherfucker, what? Bro, to reduce their set, this bitch, this motherfucker right here on the right, he's already talking, he's already looking at fucking Joey, like, oh my god, yeah, he can't wait to get my hands on her. And he's not gonna do shit? Okay. Oh, he's coming with to keep an eye on him, okay. Okay, she's finally building up her resolve. Especially if it's if Sung Jin Woo's going in. She's like, oh, I, I can't hold back anymore. Yo, his voice actor, bro. Have I already mentioned it before? His voice actor is so familiar. But say less. Bro, this guy is too fucking nice, bruh. It was not your fault. 
You you were the leader, so you at least let everybody vote. Since ever, some other people, like Kim, for example, were a little adamant about going in there. It was not your fault, though, bro. God damn, this guy is too nice. Such a good guy. He was looking at Sung Jin Woo. Bro, there's gonna be somebody from the Hunter Association along with us for this raid, and he's gonna be able to see what Sung Jin Woo is capable of if anything goes wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole reason why he took upon this mission, or this dungeon, was to level up a little bit until he starts doing dungeons with Jin Ho. Damn, bro, and ends, man. I want more. So good, bro. So good. Alrighty, guys. What another ep amazing episode of solo leveling. Excuse me. Jesus. Um, that was great. I mean, I can see why Sung Jin Woo was frustrated in the, you know, in the episode title of this episode being this is frustrating because he wants to level up quickly. He wants to get stronger quickly as quick as possible because he's, he's got this goal now. Like, okay, if I can get strong enough to where I can take on that fucking castle in there and get these ingredients for this elixir of life, his being able to save his mom is not like a impossible feat anymore you know what i'm saying like it's within reach basically so he's trying his hardest to get stronger and you know level up as quickly as possible and he's trying to think about how to do that and so his first thought was okay well maybe i should take up on this offer so immediately it cuts to him meeting up with yo uh yo jin ho again and talking about okay i'll accept this offer i need to level up He's not mentioning this to Yojin, though, obviously. But he's like, all right, I agree to do the next 19 C rank dungeons with you, and then you can get your you can get licensed to be a guild master or whatever. So it works out for you, but he's doing this so he, just so he can purely level up. And that's where he was, all right, under one condition, we're doing this alone. Me and you, that's it. We'll gain some members, you know, it's like six other people for the quota, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? And obviously they're not going to fucking, you know, be assholes about it. And, you know, I'm sure they're going to split evenly and do things justly, right? And, you know, they're not trying to kill these people like Huang did. They're just doing that just to meet the quota to be able to get into the dungeon. And then Sung Jin Woo is going to be taking on most of the fucking work, probably. Unless he meets some other, you know, semi-strong, you know, C-rank, D-rank hunters that happen to sign up for this quota or whatever. So that's cool and all. And uh, that's how he's, you know, planning on to level up. But that hasn't started yet. So in the meantime, he's like, what the fuck should I do? Like, I, I don't really have anything to do. I, I got to wait for Yojin Ho. You know, he's, he's like frustrated that he can't start and, you know, level up and get stronger right this minute. So eventually a notification comes up on his phone while he's out for a walk for a D-rank dungeon that they, you know, need hunters for. You know, an emergency summons or something. He's like, should I take this? Should I not? He's like, yeah, fuck it. I have nothing else better to do anyway. So he accepts it. And then we're starting to get the POVs of all these other people that were alongside him in the first episode going into that first D-rank dungeon that was, you know, an exception. You know, some crazy shit went down in there. That's how he got this ability and, you know, in this, you know, game-like form in the first place. And that being Kim, Joe, he, and that one big dude, and then also Song, obviously the one who led that raid and who's leading this one, apparently. You know, he's taking it upon himself as usual. He's a very stand-up guy. He's very, very nice. And uh, that's just, I mean, it's amazing to see that he's able to still keep that type of personality and, you know, outlook on life, even though after losing an arm and after, you know, take, you know, he's seemingly apparently taking all the responsibility of what went wrong the last time, even though he wasn't like, sure, you're the leader. So, you know, there's some weight to Kim's words of being like responsible. But remember, Kim, you were the one that started to push along the voting process in the first place. And like, okay, Song was like, you know, obviously he's the leader, so he approves of the vote to be taken place. And then obviously you and your buddy that fucking died voted yes. So you carry, in my opinion, just as much weight as the leader. This was a group decision. So that's why he's a little ashamed of himself. He can barely look at Song in the face because, you know, he, he, know, he knows what he did. He knows. So we see that slowly but surely through the episode, or it's like, okay, damn, it looks like Sung's gonna meet up with the rest of these people again. You know what I'm saying? And they haven't seen him in a while. And he's gotten taller. You know, his appearance has definitely changed from that, like, almost little kid form he was in before. You know what I'm saying? He's gotten taller, he's stronger, everything. So they notice that right away. Joe, he's excited to see him. Turns out that to fill in the rest of the spaces for this, you know, raid that they're gonna do in this dungeon, they have three fucking criminals coming in to join him, and apparently somebody from the Hunters Association, which is this purple-haired guy, whose voice actor is very familiar, 
trying to remember i think his voice actor is the same voice actor for mash from mashal but his but the mash it's mashal is such a funny show like that tone and his personality is so different in that show the, the voice that i'm hearing here in solo leveling like the tone that he's using for this character is reminding me of somebody somebody else and i can't pin my bucket i can't think of who it is right now oh dude i can't think of it right now but his his voice actor is very popular i know that much i've definitely heard his voice from somewhere and it might also be mash but that's not the first character that came to mind there's another character from some certain show that it's reminding me of that i can't fucking remember who it is i want to say maybe jjk but uh, i don't think so maybe even maybe even aot is it somebody from aot dude i can't remember i'm not gonna think of it right now but anyways very familiar voice actor he's the one that's coming along with to keep an eye on the criminals to make sure they don't fucking do anything so you know they can talk all the shit they want like as soon as this one guy gets out the van he's like oh a lady's with us oh fucking great like he's about to fucking you know molest her or some shit you know he's talking he's talking a bunch of shit basically but if he's actually gonna act upon those words i doubt it if this guy's you know overlooking them which is a good thing so they can't get out of control but then again I don't know how strong they are. I mean, if, he, if it's one guy watching over three people, I'm sure he's strong as fuck. I think they said he was a C rank hunter, B rank. I don't fucking know. I can't remember, but he should be good to handle them. But the fact that he's coming along with means that he's going to be able to witness whatever Sung Jin Woo does within this dungeon. You know, if they get into a tight spot or if he has to go, you know, pretty hard or, you know, actually reveal what he's capable of. That hunter association guy is going to be like, hmm. How the fuck did he just do that? And it's going to create more suspicion and more interest in Sung Jin Woo from not only him, but obviously he's going to report it to his colleagues, superiors. Hunter Association is going to be taking a closer, closer look on a Sung Jin Woo, especially after since he's, you know, somebody that survived that last D-Rank dungeon where he got this ability from and then survived a C-Rank dungeon where six people fucking died, including this guy Huang, who has a infamous younger brother that is apparently you know very famous a lot of you know a lot of stuff surrounding you know a lot of rumors or there's just gonna be yeah rumors and like talk around sung jin woo you know what i'm saying there's gonna be more focus on upon him i feel like after this dungeon um but hopefully they get through this no problem i mean it's a d-ranked dungeon if it's you know anything like the last one that he went into and then also there's no you know crazy exceptions like you know there's not another fucking crazy room or some shit they should get through this just fine so hopefully he doesn't have to do much they just get it done nice and quick out you know what i'm saying and then he can start doing those c-rank dungeons like he wants to with yojin ho level up and eventually go back into that castle and does what he does what he needs to do to be able to save his mom because that's the whole goal of this right you know the, the revolving goal is just him getting stronger but the immediate goal for him getting stronger right now is so he can be strong enough to go into that castle get those materials create the elixir of life save his mom that's where we're at right now so i thoroughly enjoyed this I, I i enjoy every episode it's always so good and i can't wait into um what's it called the next episode and i think we have 9 10 11 12 we only have four more weeks bro uh apparently so i'm very excited for the see how the rest of this plays out and and how they leave off on the last episode like where they leave us at and uh and then hopefully we don't have to wait super long for another season because i feel like me included and everybody else is watching this is just loving it so leveling is really fucking good I i'm so glad this has uh started to be adapted and um maybe I'll i don't think i'll read it because if i don't i mean it, ha it has to really leave you off on some crazy fucking like cliffhanger or like i have to be really really invested to like want to read something which like a couple of those was like my hero and aot like those are the one the only ones that i've read black clover as well because black clover went on you know a hiatus it's been on a hiatus for a long time now so there's plenty of manga to read after what ended on the anime for black clover those are pretty much the only three mangas that i've read that like i've like read after a certain point like of having to wait for another season of the anime and then one piece obviously but one piece is a continuing series it's not like that's stopping like those are continuously going every fucking week so I don't think I'll pick this up and read it. I feel like I want to keep this to, you know, straight up anime uh, because it's just so good. I, I'm enjoying it in, in this fashion. So 
that's gonna do it for me that's gonna do it for this reaction if you guys enjoyed it please like down below comment subscribe for new hit that notification bell see you in the next one's dropping i'll see you on the next one y'all be good deuces